Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how we can install Python PyCharm. So let's open Google Chrome first. Let's open Google. Now we can search PyCharm community version. So since community version is free for everyone, so we can click on this link. This is the community version. If someone is interested in professional, he can download the professional version. It's 372 bytes. It's downloading. It will take some time. Meanwhile, what I can do, I can create a folder for me. Uh, it's downloading, okay, D program files. You can select any folder where you want to create the directory. So for me, I will, I'm going to create uh, the directory in programming files PyCharm. Here I will install my software, Control C. The reason why I chose D drive, because I have too much space in D drive and in my C drive, I don't install software because of the lazy space. So usually I do always in my D drive programming files. I get a new directory here. I will install my PyCharm and still it will take some time to install. That's it. Furthermore, after, install, after the setup of the community version, we will, in the next video, probably I will show you how we can install uh, the libraries or the packages uh, in the Python, which will really help. Like the problem is whenever we create a new project, the packages are always somewhere, you know, in the space. Uh, you always have to manually install for each program, which takes, which literally consume too much time in the space. I will uh, show you how we can uh, maintain that thing. So now I think the software is installed, showing folder is in my downloads. Now I can start this one. So it's working. Yes. Next. Now it's asked for the destination folder. So our destination folder will be this one, which I created it here. I will copy this path simply, or you can browse it, it doesn't matter. So I chose the programming file spy chart. Next. Uh create text yes, I want to text stop shortcut. I don't need anything else. Next. Check prints. Now it's installing. Look, now it's files are downloading. Once it's downloaded, it will take a couple seconds. It, it will not take much time. Then we can, uh, then I will show you how to work with Python. So we have all the files and folders. Look, it's a bit faster now. So Python is literally very popular language. It's very easy to work with. Now our all set of files have been completed. I think it will take few seconds more boom it's done run by charm edition i don't want to run it now so look uh, we have all the files how much space it took program files 1 gb so it took 1 gb space now i can close this i can now i don't need the setup since i don't i already installed my system i can close this folder i can close this Chrome also. Now look, I have PyCharm installed on my desktop. I can now I can open it. So there are some checks, community guidance, uh, data sharing. Mm, don't send, I don't want to send it. So we have latest 2021 PyCharm edition installed in our system. Since it's installed for the first time, it will take a couple of time because of doing some basic configuration. So now our PyCharm is done, it's installed successfully. And now next step is before creating any projects, I will do the configuration. That configuration is very helpful for the beginners because they are always stuck how to create the packages, how to uh, add new libraries uh, in PyCharm and it's a little bit cumbersome. So I will try to save time as much as possible. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks guys. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe button.